my beautiful rainbows, it's Jade. I hope you guys are well. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing you, sharing you, sharing with you how I got my awesome new Fire Phoenix ombre hair. So you wanna know how to do it? Just keep on watching. Okay, so this is my current hair. What I'm working with. I did have quite a large sum of solid regrowth happening from when I did do this caramel color. So I did do a little bit of balayage just on that root area just to break apart the real harsh line. I do have a tutorial on how you can balayage your own hair if you guys wanted to check it out. So definitely do. <laughs> so the color that I'm using today is Provana. So this is a cruelty free brand and this is also a professional brand. So for those of you that are in a Australia and are looking for this color. I'm not 100% sure if you can get it online. I actually purchased this at Hair Mart, which is a like hairdressing wholesale place. So only hairdressers can actually go in there and purchase products. The first shade is this one. <laughs> which is Wild Orchid. So this is just one of the Chroma Silk Vivid colors. Then I got quite a few of this Locked In Red shade. So yes, this is a Locked In one, which I guess is that little bit more intense or long wearing than the standard Vivids. And then the last shade I got is this one, which is the Locked In Yellow shade. The first thing I'm going to do is my regrowth because I want my regrowth to be a little bit darker and I'm gonna do like almost that fade. So I'm going to do my regrowth in this Wild orchid shade and then fade it through to the red on the rest of my hair. As well I feel it's important to mention that these types of colors, these are direct dye colors so they're very similar to Manic Panic. They are not a oxidizing color. These only really work on pre-lightened hair so my color or lighter Oh my gosh I'm scared. Okay this is really happening. All right all right. Screw it. You only live once. Let's do it. Ah! Okay, it's done. I need some Harry Potter audiobook right now. What's the matter? Go soft in Azkaban. So I'm basically just applying this all over my regrowth. I've got about one to two inches worth. So pretty much covering all of that. I'm just doing the normal cobweb section. So basically from the center of your head all the way down to the nape of your neck, you do a straight line. And then from the top of your head to the top of your ears, you do another line. So you're basically creating four quarters and then you divide each quarter diagonally, just quite thin sections and paint the color on that way. So that way you definitely don't miss any bits everything gets covered and yeah it's just a lot more easier and efficient to work that way So once all my root color has been applied, I'm now going in with the red. I'm slightly overlapping it onto some of the existing orchid color just because I really want the transition to be nice and smooth and we can comb it all through later. So I'm starting off by doing that all around the orchid color throughout my whole head just to make sure that bit's all done, all blended. And then I'm going through and applying the same red all throughout the ends of my hair. And basically I'm starting from the bottom, working my way up and just making sure it's really, really saturated all the way through. All right, to really create the Fire Phoenix ombre look, I am using some extensions. So these are my favorite extensions. These are by Irresistible Me. This is their Volume Vixen Set 260 gram worth of extensions. Oh my gosh, they are so thick, so luscious and just amazing. I got the color to match my current kind of caramel hair color because I wanted the end result to be as seamless and as perfect as possible. So the extensions here are in the shade Honey Blonde. So, unfortunately, when I did film the first application of color on my extensions, my camera didn't actually record it at all, unfortunately. So, I'm going to be applying a second coat to show you guys exactly how it was done and how you can achieve it yourself. So when I first colored the extension, I did the first little bit in the magenta color. I didn't think that it really turned out that well. And in all honesty, it didn't really turn out that well on my own hair as well. So I'm just going to be covering this up with the red shade. So first thing I am going in with the Pavana red and basically just coating that along the first few inches of the extensions. Every single extension I did a little bit differently because I didn't want it to be too uniform or too, you know, precise. I really wanted it to have a natural feel to it. 
So I'm basically working this in really, really well. Make sure that you apply enough that it's soaking through all of the hair. You don't want to end up with any kind of blonde bits left and make sure that you flip it over and do the back piece of the extension as well. So to make it look a little bit more natural in a way, I'm taking just a few random strands and dra dragging that red shade through a little bit longer on those pieces just to make it look a little bit more natural. When it comes time for the orange, I am mixing some of the yellow pavana with a little bit of the red pavana and then mixing those two together to create an orange shade. So I'm basically applying that into the middle of the extension and just really working it in well with the existing red shade. I really want all these colors to really meld together. So you can just use your hands or you can use a comb if you like as well. Then when we get towards the ends, I'm just using the straight yellow pavana and just applying that all throughout those existing ends and and yeah, just mixing it all in together, making sure it looks completely seamless and I'm happy with how it's looking. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload brand new videos twice a week. Love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Bring your cameras out, nigga. I swear to God my life is like a movie. A movie, a movie, a movie, a movie, a movie. Ain't no looking like a movie, a movie, a movie, a movie.